the Flintstone Kids Just Say No special is both adorable and really moving. This was released in 1988. It's directed by Ray Patterson and Carl Urbino. And we have the Flintstones kids who just look so adorable. They're so cute and squishy. And I absolutely love them as little characters. And Wilma has gotten in with this crowd who are encouraging her to take drugs. And... Wilma has to, well, make the decision. Does she want to take drugs and be with this new gang of friends? Or should she say no and go back to her original gang of friends, um, Fred and Barney, etc.? Because they don't pressure her to do something that's both illegal and harmful. And there are some really nice moments in this, really powerful moments. Two bits in particular. One is when she approaches... These are potentially tiny spoilers, by the way. So just a forewarning, um, I'm going to mention a few specific things but I won't say the overall outcome of the cartoon but there's a moment where her friends encourage her to talk to her parents which I wasn't expecting to happen and she does and her parents give an exemplary response so it's not just an education for young children or anybody who might be pressured to take drugs but it also shows what I consider to be a pretty decent way to react if your child or a friend approaches you and says this is happening to me I'm being pressured to do drugs. Wilma thought her parents would, you know, freak out and, and give her into trouble. And her parents were actually really understanding and supportive and ultimately glad that she'd come to them for advice rather than just giving in to the pressure. So I wasn't expecting that, but I thought that that was a really nice thing to include. We then have this character, the main drug user, called Stoney, which I thought was a brilliant name for, well, one very obvious reason, and also because it's... The Flintstones, which I thought was great. So kind of double meaning name there. And there's, I'd say most of the second half of this cartoon focuses on this kind of relay race. And Stoney did drugs before the race. And we see how it really negatively affects him, both his health and his performance. And I like the fact that it didn't just say don't do drugs. It, it also showed how badly that can affect a person in a way where... They want to perform well. Stoney thinks he's going to do really well in this race. He's very sure of himself. Very cocky individual. And we get to see the drugs knocking him down a couple of pegs. So it also kind of shows not just that it's bad for your health, but that it will actually affect you doing the things that you think you're good at as well. So it's really well balanced and showing different sides, different perspectives. At no point did I feel like Wilma was an unlikable character. Although I wasn't agreeing with the fact that she'd kind of switched friends groups seemingly so easily but I have to say the clothes she was wearing she looked really awesome the characters are very well designed and as the Flintstone kids they're so cute it is weird to see these children talking about drugs because I consider them to be quite young children I'm not sure if the age was ever mentioned but either way I think it's it's really effective it's got a really nice balance of, of perspectives and opinions to it and uh yeah, I think Stoney as a character was very effectively done. Definitely so. It is worth watching for the entertainment, but also because it's got a pretty powerful message. And I would say this is more entertaining than a lot of the don't do drugs, live action, really cheesy, made in the 90s, but still being shown in school videos. Um, and it's cute and memorable. Definitely something I enjoyed for the right reasons. And I can see it being very beneficial as well. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention the um the concert aspect. The other kids are trying to get money to go to this concert. It's a Michael Jackstone concert. Again, another br a brilliant play on the name of Jackson there. Um, but I thought that was pretty well done. Yeah, so definitely well written, well animated, and obviously with a really important message too. <laughs>